Well, it's now time to think about the ride across Britain, which starts on Saturday, the weekend. So we're now at the stage whereby it's time to pack some kit. And as you see, I've got the first bits of kit here. You have to diligently go through the kit list and make sure that you've got everything. You've got to put your name in stuff that you might want to get, it wa get washed. Make sure it goes into waterproof bags in case it's going to get wet. So hence, there's some waterproof bags there. Either way, I've only got 16 kilograms is my maximum amount. But this is what I'm focused on, on making sure we can fit all of this. Bib shorts, arm warmers, feet cover, gloves, waterproofs, cycling tops, stuff to wear outside of cycling, cycling socks. I'm taking a bit of luxury here, having some brand new, brand new cycling so socks each day. Um, so this is the sort of stuff that we will be packing into the kit and hopefully it will all fit into that bag down there. Wow, look where we are. We've made it to Land's End. We had a good journey down. About six hours or something like that, a couple of stops. But this is Land's End. This is uh, about four o'clock and we've been to the campsite, sort of checked in. And now we've done a little look around Land's End before we go and sort out the bike and things like that. So this is what you see. That is the signpost up there. But let me tell you, it's £10.99, it's a personalised sign. Um, so we cheated and didn't bother. But it is the signpost. Now we've done a little wander around down to that furthest point, which is down there. There we go. Right, it's about half past five on Friday night. This is the camp, base camp number one. This is at Land's End. This is what you see. A lot of tents. Now I am in one of those blue tents, but there are further tents out beyond the field, behind the vans, so there's quite a lot of people, that is where the bikes are. Somewhere in there, high security to get in. Uh, sort of, there you go, some sort of wristband situation. Oh, there you go, something like that. People sorting their bikes out, last minute adjustments. Water cab is up there, showers. Put your towels over there, tent allocation there. Get your uh, high five energy drinks there. Easy that Come in here, this is what you'll see. There are, that is, oh, call it the, uh, the restaurant, the cafeteria, whatever you like. There's a briefing tonight. Um, I think there's dinner in about uh, an hour's time, something like that. A map of day one there. Oh, I'll just tell you, about 105 miles, quite a long way. Well, this is a snapshot of food on day one. Okay, not looking too bad if you ask me. This the hot food is down there. Don't know if it's meat yet, but we'll keep looking at that. Hmm. I'll come back in a little bit. Okay, day one done. About 9,000 foot of climbing. Pretty hilly, but uh, we've done it. So, time to recover now and get ready for day two.
Okay, day two, 114 miles. A couple of big climbs in there. One of them, I'm halfway up it. Poppy and Tomo in the car come racing past, cheering me on. That was an unexpected bonus. I also saw, well, I feel who I haven't seen for about 15 years randomly in Crediton. Such a good boost. Very nice to see a film. Hope you hope you enjoyed the christening that you're down for. But anyway, it was 7,000 foot of climbing. A couple of stinkers in there, let me tell you. Banner down, that's an interesting one. But anyway, we're here now. This is the campsite. I don't know if you can see. There you go, that's what you get here. And uh, so far so good, feeling okay actually. Pretty windy on the Severn Bridge, but the sun is out. Okay, I'm in from day three, which is um, taking me to Ludlow race, race Course. And this is the camp here. Look, you can see the tents behind me. Black tent there is tent allocation. So when you come in, you lift your bike and uh, sort it all out, clean it up and what have you. You go to tent allocation, get your tent. And I am where the blue flags are today. It's tent 27. Yesterday was tent 28. Uh, you have to collect your bag, which is, uh, been delivered on these vans. You can see the uh, pile of bags there, but that's the bags. Often quite heavy. I've just ridden 100 miles, that's quite a, a weight to lift, but there you go. Better bags. And then you take them down to your tents and then you run back. There's a drying room over, over there, there's toilets there. Oh, that is Ludlow Base Course. Today's ride 94 miles, so an easier day. Yesterday 114, 6,000 foot of climbing. All in all, uh, not too bad, not too bad at all. We're still surviving, still a long way to go, and we can only do one day at a time. All right, welcome to tent 27. And look, this is what you're going to see in camp. There's me bed area, here's my bag, there's my stuff for tomorrow, helmet, what have you, and there's the stuff I'll wear later when it gets a bit cooler. So, as you can see, it's a case of love our neighbour because there's plenty of neighbours nearby. But all in all, hopefully we can get some sleep tonight. Okay, you know the score: nine days, 800 riders, 980 miles. Obviously, uh, I'm doing it for so far. When you look at it like that, there's quite a long way to go. So uh, yeah, let's not get carried away after three days. But today, that is Ludlow Racecourse, oh, which is where we are camping. There you go. That's day, I don't know, four, I think, four? Yeah, day four, I think. Anyway, we went from Ludlow to Haydock. Here we are, look, you can see, we're at the race course at Haydock. Quite windy, oh, it was cold, it was wet, freezing cold, gloves on. It's not, uh, I thought it'd be like 20 degrees, blue skies. Well, it is blue skies now, but it's windy, but it wasn't then, it was wet, very wet and cold. But we're here, we're down another 109 miles. Okay, I don't know, is it day four, day five? Either way, I've done it. It was a, I'd say brutal day. I'm not a cyclist judge, but it was very wet. Uh, 
and people were dropping out with hypothermia. I think over 50, 60, I don't know about the exact number, but a lot dropped out. Carried on, it was a long day. Got to, in the end, we got to Milnthorpe for, that's where one of the pit stops was, and then we had to climb up to, into Kendall and up Sham, which is like a four mile hill. But anyway, we survived. And now I'm back in the marquee, having my protein uh, snack. I don't know if you can see that. That's my, that's my protein uh, recovery snack. And it's dinner in about an hour and a half. So uh, all good, time to eat and recover. And let's get ready for going again tomorrow. Morning guys, this is what the rab makes you look like at 5.30 in the morning and sound like Barry White. It could be day five, day six, I don't know. It's all a blur really, but um, we're in Edinburgh. If you believe it, that this is the site. Down there, you've got the stretching. And you've got some showers and toilets here. There's a few tents. So you see the catering going on in there. So today was 113 miles, quite a long way. But we went into Scotland, uh, which was nice. We had a photo, sort of had a photo at the bridge. Then we went from there, uh, eventually found a big hill. I don't know what it was called, but it was four miles long and uh, had about just 900 foot of climbing. And then we've uh, carried on our journey. We went through, I certainly remember Moffat, and then we went to Bigger. We had a pit stop at the rugby club there, and then we went on our way and uh, have weaved to a private estate in uh, just outside Edinburgh. And then tomorrow we kick off and go over the fourth bridge. So uh, it's, a, it's a long ride, let me tell you. The quads feel a bit tight. Uh, last night's sleep was difficult because I had the tent that was nearest to a, um, uh, a generator and the lights. So it was like being in Norway where they have no dark. It was lights all night in the tent and the generator was making a noise. But tonight I'm in a tent far over the, as far as you can see in the tent, which is quite away from the generator. So hoping to bank a few hours of recovery tonight because tomorrow is the one of the hardest days. It's the day they say in terms of difficulty rating is a five out of five. We go up to Glenshee and I think that means there's lots of climbing in there. So. Here are the piles of kit that people have to collect when they come back and take them to the tents. Well, here I am at Bellabeg or just outside Strathdon. Uh, today, day, I don't know, day seven maybe. It was 112 miles with mm, 8,000 foot of climbing, some big climbs. Glen, oh, I want to say Glen Ross, Glen Lee, Glen. It was a big hill uh, where there was a skiing center at the top. It went on for it was about three bit three miles but it went pretty high that was tough it was a tough day on zero sleep it took me a while to get going probably i drifted through the first bits through perth it was okay really but uh, i was i wasn't in the back that great but got going towards the end and there were some some big climbs 11 big climbs today uh, but look we're here we're here at base camp look i don't know if you can see the views there's forestry up there we're not far from balmoral I think actually we um, we went past uh, Balmoral. Uh, I think um, there's probably loads of things that we went past, but uh, beautiful scenery, some great great uh, sights, and you know looking at the mountainous rugged terrain. All right, that's what's installed for tomorrow, day eight. Distance 109 miles. 7,200 feet climbing, challenge 5 out of 5, gonna be a tough one. Collect 
the time a big, big hill. It goes right up quite steep and then goes down quite steep. And then the rest of the way along into Inverness, finish at Isle of Sutherland. Recovery food. Right, we're here in the Kyle of Sutherland, somewhere like that anyway. And this is the inside the marquee. That is the plan for tomorrow, day nine. Still going on. Distance. Four miles. Five out ten feet. Today then has been, we went through Inverness, it was uh, quite nice, big hill, we did the Lect, now that is a big hill with a 20% gradient, um, quite a challenge that was but uh, we got up it okay and there's a sense of this is the last night at the base camp, so um, the last night of the great catering we have here, really really impressive. This is Rab, the unseen footage, final day, finally taking the bike out. A lot of bikes gone and the time is about 6.20. So you could leave at 6 in the morning today. Final leg is 104 miles, I'm going to take you along and you can see what the final leg on Rab is all about. Spirits are high, it's been nine days, this time last week leaving Oakhampton. So it was a long time ago and it's about 970 Six, no, 876 miles, something like that. Oh. Here we go, one last push. Okay, we've just started a few miles into day nine. I'm gonna head up. Now, generally, this has been my, my view for about, let's say, 750 miles of the miles we've done so far. This is day G, important to get the G in. But he says there's too many, there's too many Daves to not be Dave G. So these guys come past, they shout on your right. It's going to be trademarked, your brand name that is. Dave, how's it been? Very enjoyable. Starting day nine. Starting day nine, very flat. I've been following Dave's um, wheel, that back wheel. For the vast majority. So here we are, we're leaving the Kyle of Sutherland and heading our way to John O'Groats. It's a nice little, I don't know what it is, it's called the pier I think we're in, but who has at the back there? The Scottish flag is flying. We're in Leg, maybe leg. Dave's powering us along. A bit too quick to be honest. We'll reflect and enjoy it at some stage. I'm still here. Yeah. There are the views. The lake down there. This is the sort of thing you're going to see on the final leg. Rob, 234. Heading towards checkpoint one. Somewhere. Okay, pit stop one. This is what you normally see. Mechanics, medical, and then food and drink. Oh. 
<laughs> Some great views. Look at it as we hug the path around the lake. Great little park this is looking. That's the first sight of the sea, I think. As we turn onto the coastal road, Dave powering up the hill. Final pit stop two. Great selection of sandwiches. There we go. You won't see this young man until Cromer on the Macmillan Walk. That was me. Well, it could be there next year in May. Yeah. Yeah, I was there this year. I'll be there next year. We'll see you then. Okay, we've got 14 miles to go. Conditions have turned. We're not signed up. I'll be right. Nice sunny day. I don't know if you can see, but look, it's pretty gross. Corn of rain, soaked, got wet, wet socks, wet everything. Where are we still going? Come on, 14 miles. Okay, 100 miles up, four to go. Dave, how do you feel having now been my windshield for 800 miles? You've got, back the whole way. you've got me to thank for making you stronger. I'm here at your service. Well, oh, oh. yeah, I don't know if you can see, there's the sea. We're closing in, let me tell you. Four to go. So we're coming to the end, we've done 976 miles. It's quite a long way to cycle, really. And uh, just the last quarter of an hour and then that is the change done ever so proud of raising well it's currently 4,500 but still going up might be too much to ask for the big five but anyway very very proud of the achievements and pleased to help right last little bit look at that <laughs> Right, it's the final leg of the journey now. It's Monday morning, it's the day after. Now, this journey couldn't have been made possible without the support. Look at that. So the, this is base camp. This is where Mark, Kim, sorry, Brooksy all came up. We're in Inverness right now. A little chill in the air. Beautiful morning. <laughs> Don't have any mornings like this to ride with. But, uh, but here we are, Inverness. We came back from John O'Groats to Inverness. That's about uh, 109 miles. And we're in Inverness now. And we're looking forward to how long's the journey? Just take a, oh, 550 miles, no, 440 miles to go. Oh, only 440 miles. Probably, if you start in Land's End, 440 miles probably takes you somewhere to around about Haydock, something like that. Yeah, who knows, just a thought. But anyway, we're heading back now. It's the day after, still got the medal on, and it's over. It's pretty much over. Cheers.